Good morning, everyone. AMIA is a global leader in merchant-funded loyalty. We're about 3,800 people in 20 markets around the world. If you're from the UK, you would have heard of us mostly for being the owners of Nectar. That's a merchant-funded scheme with 18 and a half million members here in the UK. Last year, we made a minority investment in Cardlytics, and we reached a global commercial agreement to further develop the proposition in various markets around the world. We believe that a combination of the proven Cardlytics platform that we'll show you in a second, and the ability of that platform to work without requiring bank data to leave the bank, and you combine that with our own experience and track record in building merchant-funded businesses in various markets around the world, well, we think that makes a winning combination for Europe and for the UK. Thanks, Jonathan. The Cardlytics solution that I'm going to show you is live across 209 banks in the United States. The largest bank is Bank of America, which is the biggest consumer bank in the country. I'm actually going to show you my personal bank account, which is with PNC Bank. For those of you guys who don't know PNC, they are a top five bank in the U.S., similar in size to RBS here in the U.K. The Cardlytics solution enables merchants to place money-saving offers to customers through their bank relationship. The offers are targeted using the customer's historical debit, credit, and bill pay transactions. What this means is all the offers presented to me are relevant to me because they're based on where I've spent money in the past. Rod's actually going to log into my PNC account. One of the downsides of this is I show my personal finances to half the free world. Um, so here's my online banking statement with PNC. You can see I actually have two offers available to me this morning. Um, the first is an offer directly underneath a body shop transaction that I made last week. And you can see the body shop would like me to come back. They've given me another offer. This is what we call a loyalty offer. The second, a little further up, is an offer placed under my McDonald's transaction. My kids love those Happy Meals. Um, and directly underneath it is an offer to go to Burger King. What Burger King knows is that I shop at fast food, but I don't shop with them. From a consumer experience, all I need to do if I want to use any of these offers is click on them. So I go ahead and click on Burger King. That's what I like to call the virtual coupon. Now my PNC debit card and credit card are loaded with that offer. All I need to do is go to Burger King, shop as I normally would, no promotion codes, no coupons, simply use my PNC card. And as soon as that transaction clears with my bank, the savings are going to come right back to me. You can actually see I made a purchase at Burger King earlier this week. There's the purchase, and directly underneath it says I've earned the reward. The rewards are aggregated, and at the end of every month, the money is deposited directly into the consumer account. Through our partnership with AMIA, the Cardlytics solution is full service in Europe. That means we will secure the merchants for the banks, we will manage all of the funds flow, and we will deploy the technology that enables this experience that I just showed you through either online banking, mobile banking, email, or even ATMs. The technology was developed in the U.S. over the last four years. Uh, we spent over $30 million developing it, and it has all of the privacy, security, and scalability requirements that any large bank anywhere in the world would require. However, the most important element of our technology is how we interface with the merchants. After all, they're the ones who fund all of this and pay for the model. So Rod's now going to show you our offer management system. That is our custom-built technology that enables us to build the campaigns for the merchants, show them real-time results, and show them analytics over time. So for consistency's sakes, we'll go and look at the Burger King campaign that had an offer in my PNC account that you just saw. So Rod's clicking through to find the campaign. All campaigns start with the full universe of customers who may be interested in the offer. In this case, 10 million people who have spent money at fast food in the last 60 days. We then further subset those segments, really, as much as the merchant wants. So here's an example of Burger King first started by saying, I want to know how many shopped with me. That was 3 million. And then I want to know how many shopped with a competitor. That was 7 million. They then continue to subset based on the amount of purchases and the frequency of purchases. And at the end point of each segment, they can create a different and unique offer. So here's an example of a Burger King offer that actually went to 850,000 people who shopped at Burger King frequently in the past 60 days. And as you can see, it's a loyalty offer for 10%. Over here on the other side of the tree is an example of an offer that went to people who were not shopping at Burger King but we're in fact shopping at Wendy's, McDonald's, Arby's, et cetera. And you can see this offer is for 20%. 
That's how all merchant campaigns are built, and we can literally segment on any combination of transactions, individual transactions, aggregated transactions, transactions in a category, outside of a category, and importantly, based on the consumer zip code. So we're able to bring local content that's relevant as well. Now, once the campaign's built, the merchant is able to actually log in and see the results of their campaign real time. They can do this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is really important. This is a digital channel that drives in store sales, but the merchants need to be able to see the digital performance. So here they can see the number of customers served the offer, the numbers activated, the numbers redeemed, and the resulting sales. Most importantly, at the end of every campaign, we give the merchant the ability to see the performance over time. This chart that I'm going to show you is a bit of an eyesore, but to the best of my knowledge, there is no other channel in the world that can show this kind of data to merchants. The green represents the spend that people had in fast food, but not with Burger King. Remember those 7 million customers I showed you earlier? That's the green. The gray represents the spend that they had at Burger King as a result of the offer that was placed to the consumers in their online banking statement. Said differently, that's what Burger King paid for. The red represents the spend from that same exact group of customers after the offer expired, but yet people kept coming back. We're actually able to show Burger King how they effectively shifted share from people who were not spending money with them to people who were spending money with them over time. With that, I'll turn it back over to Jonathan. We've got 20 seconds left, so I can't tell you precisely how much I love that chart, but that's the reason that merchants will fund this program. Um, we've got a stall at the back there. We'd love to spend some time with you showing it. The more you see it, the more you're going to love it. So we look forward to seeing you later. Thank you very much for listening.